What I would normally do is, um, while Ross is um, making the edits and scrolling things backwards and forwards, I'd be writing what we call a scratch commentary, which is basically a rough commentary. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because we know that there's going to be some, I'm going to have to guide the story somehow. So, uh, and after this first bit of the film, where we're going to get three or, three or four bits of sync, where we get the idea that this guy's a bit of a tyrannical boss, that will lead us into this next bit where we sort of expound the story slightly. And we'll mention this guy's name. His name is John Davis. Um, in the 1950s, Pinewood Studios was run by John Davis. To some, he was a tyrannical boss. To others, he was a genius. So it'd be something like that. Um, and then you'd probably come back to Lewis Gilbert and he was saying, actually, he was kind of good, but um, we hated him, you know. The journalism is quite instinctive. Uh, well, yes, yeah. <laughs> I think, um, I mean, some people shy away from commentary these days and it's, it's a little bit sad because it's a little, it's a skill in its own right, really. Um, and it's very economical. Um, if you need to get, if you need to say something quickly or if you need to turn a page in the story, if you need to move things on, if you need to condense a lot of information, um, being able to write a commentary, being able to write is a really good skill. So I would say to any student of film, read, read as much as you can, because if you read more, you'll become a better writer. And once you've been reading more, try and write stuff. That's, you know, never shy away from it. Just, you know, start it. Because sometimes you go into, as an executive producer, I've gone into cutting rooms and they say, oh, well, there's going to be some commentary there. And you think, well, yeah, what is it though? I mean, I want to know what the commentary is. What is the story? And um, I've actually been in viewings with, uh, younger directors when the you know the commissioning editor comes in from Channel 4 or BBC or whatever and they they try and wing the 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 viewing like that the first viewing by saying oh we're going to have some intro introductory commentary here it's going to say something like this and then you know and it's a disaster because basically the confidence of the commissioning editor is shattered immediately and what what then happens is the commissioning editor comes out of the cutting room and collars someone like me and says write his fucking commentary for him, you know, or help him do it, for goodness sake, we need to get it sorted out. Um, so, read and write. Uh, other words are available. Other words are available. <laughs>